considered opinion, there are two things that we may have to do going forward. First of all, we should understand, I just quoted Article 55, Clause 9 of the Constitution to us, which obligates the, the party to choose, and the operative word in the Constitution is choose, choose, not elect. Of course, election is also one of the means of choosing. Acclama acclamation is one of, the one of the ways of choosing. Um, you know, um, whatever way that the party uh, fashions out to choose people to serve various offices, we may have to look at it. So I think that if we have to look at what operates in the other jurisdictions, you go to UK, you go to America, you go to Australia, you go to Canada, they establish democracies. What we are doing here doesn't exist there. But by our own constitution, that is what we are fashioned. So we must obey the constitution. So I'm saying that there are one of two ways that we may have to look at. If we want to maintain what is here now, then as far as I'm concerned, I agree with you that then we have to go further downstream and allow every card-bearing member of the constituencies to have a say in who becomes the, the officers of the party. Other than that, in the UK, it's the Prime Minister who chooses the, the chairman of the party. The party has its own central administration. You go to the US, that's what it is. You go to Canada, that's what it is. But by whatever arrangement, we have this on us. And we must respect what the constitution says, at least for now, until we do away with the constitution. The air force all over the world. The United Ghana, and America, call UK. Um, inflation, Kotek inflation, no, is out of the roof. Yet, yeah, by because of the the policies, I yet to hold on Yes, and who trap and so government, eh, yeah, who be. Be more my time, Pakramo, who said, near my idea to a quay, a quay, a quay, a quay, a bebe, all the benefits and the funerable. It's been a difficult time for everybody, let me put it that way. So, put it in the context of the global difficulties, I think they've done pretty well. Um, I think the party is still strong. I believe that this is going to be a good time to take a look at where maybe we haven't done as well as expected and start doing things better. It's a political party. It's not a governmental event. It's a party event. In Ghana, we, we subscribe to a, a political system. So we, the, a time like, in time like this, we have to organize ourselves as a party. We have to rethink. We have to re-strategize. And we have, to, we have to do things new. You know, we'll be going for elections very soon. And we don't have a template in this country where any political party has broken the eight. Every political party ends at the end of the eight. We want to set a new record. And the record that we are going to set is going to be so phenomenal to change the fortunes of this country. We have always had the men in this country and more or, more or less in MPP who, by the grace of God, as I said, continues to deepen democracy and we, we continue to bring reforms that ensure that Ghana becomes the beacon Speaking of Africa in terms of elections. Okay. Are you throwing your way behind any particular candidate? I'm a member of parliament. I'm a regional minister. I have come here in, in my capacity as such, as a chairman of the election security committee, to ensure that adequate preparations are made before, during, and after the elections. And we are all going in as party members to cast our votes. I have no candidates.